Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, the very first thing we want to have a look at today is actually a, was a tip from Mr. Jared about thermal padding and LPIS. It doesn't work because you always have to have thermal padding on. So if you have a quick look at our inventory, we always need thermal padding on. Once you've gone to anywhere except for the Moon and Earth, well, the overworld, which of course is essential to get to Mars and Pluto and stuff like that. So that doesn't work. So what I did is ask on the Discord link. And in Discord they said, you can use Draconic Armour. So let's have a look and see if we can actually get some Draconic Armour. And we also need, I think we need for that, is um, an Awakened Stone or something like that. So we need a Resurrection Stone to get the the um, Ender Dragon back again. So we, get an ender, so we can get a Dragon Heart. It's a bit of a twisted story. So let's have a look at doing, um, I think probably what we can't, we can't start, if I have a look at this, uh, da -da. oh yes, one more thing I want to start with before I do anything else is to actually pimp up the um, the crafting because we've had a lot of problems, I've had a lot of problems with the crafting, it's been taking too long. So I've got a few more um, items now, basically I've got a few more uh, co-processors, uh, crafting units and co-processors which I've set up here and I moved the one that was in there into here so we've basically got a few little ones these are just 1k storage device and um, crafting units what I'd like to do today is actually make a big one I want to say big I mean a, a really big one so we can actually do say two more of these and get a, and take the 64k one that we've got at the moment to make it a really big 64k one like 192 so let's just do that I've got some prepared some crafting units there, so we've got these two crafting storage units there. <laughs> I was throwing those around, was I? And we can put those on top of this one over here, like this. If we get around to the right place, jump up and try again. <laughs> right, got it third time lucky. Um, so, what you have to do with these, of course, is you have to put them down so that they go. It has to be sort of cubit, cuboid or or that sort of shape. So you press shift on that and you get like that and that'll work fine. So now we've got three cores in this one. I could actually add some more bits and pieces to that. So that will now actually look straight away it's going to craft a steel um, hole because it's got enough it's got now enough storage to do that. So that's actually a good thing because I've got steel holes on this interface here so they will actually be made and then put come into here like this. Actually got some t drums as well in there. So what we wanted to do last time was also to make an implosion compressor, I think it's called. So let's actually make that because it was I was waiting on advanced machine frames and all sorts of bits and pieces, wasn't I? If I remember rightly. So the implosion I think is this one. So it needs a compressor, which is no problem at all. We've got, I created a recipe for that, and some plates. So let's just see if we can actually make that. We can, great. There's another Tech Reborn one, so it uses RF. So we can go downstairs and plug that in. And the idea of that was to make some emeralds, if I remember rightly. So that's what did we need. We needed some TNT, didn't we? So let's get rid of crafting and implosion. So we need TNT. Cheers, this stuff. There should be no problem making the back. We need at least a make two stacks of it because we needed to make some of this as well. I think these, I think these are four. Yeah, they are. So I'll make a stack of that. And I don't remember exactly how many we need, but we'll, we've got plenty of both. So let's just go and stick this down and get it to work. See if we can actually make an emerald. I think that what's that one there? Industrial centrifuge, I oh, will just put it down here, look like that. And that should get power in it, I guess. Missing multi block. Oh, right, then it's a bit more complicated, and I don't know how to do this. I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, well, never mind. That's uh, <laughs> that's ruined that. <laughs> well, I'll put those in there anyway. Till we actually get to figure out what I need to do to actually make the implosion compressor actually work. Oh dear. Didn't realise that. This is working like crazy. Now, actually, that brings me to another thing. 
are saying, Aston Lith do really need one million scrap to make 64 UU matter. And somebody said, yep, that's about right. And he made about 30 uh, caches, the resident caches of scrap to make what we needed to do his whatever it is that we need to use UU matter for. So I thought, well, that's a lot. And he also says there's a scrafting recipe for that. So let's have a look at scrap in here. Um, here we go. So look, press R on that one, just like that. Ah, so we can make it with some scrap and some phyto grow in the assembly table gives us 10 scrap. So I thought, okay, I'll set that up. So I set up some crafting recipes for that, which I've done. And I've got them in here, I think. Yep, 10 scrap. And do I need a crafting card in here? Well, I could put one in. So oh, that would actually do it at the time, wouldn't it? But in here, I've got one piece of scrap. And on the export bus at the back, which we'll have to go around and see. Oh, too far. I've got scrap in here with a crafting card as well. And it doesn't work, <laughs> as far as I can see. Um, I've got no more scrap, just the one. And nothing's coming into that. So I tried that again on some other bits and caches and I still wasn't getting it. So I'm going to have to figure a different way to do that as well. So today, the main point of today was to go and do some draconic weaponry. So let's have a look at that. So if we want to make any draconic armour, where has it gone to? Here. For instance, here's a chest plate. Okay, we need awakened cores. Now, awakened cores require awakened draconium. And awakened draconium, basically, you get from uh, a special sort of ritual we have to perform with the ender heart, with a dragon heart. So that is, as far as I can see, is not going to... I don't think we can get it any other way, actually. Nuggets? I suppose they're just self crafted Yeah, exactly. So we have to go through the process of getting a dragon heart. Now, one of the ones that we needed for that was a ritual stone. I think, let's see if we can see the ritual stone on here. I think it's this one. Resurrection stone, that's it, yeah. And we need some mob souls. So you can get those from mob souls. You can get from any of the draconic weapons. So, okay, let's come make a draconic sword, a sword of Waven. Because we can't make the draconic one because that's bound to require awakened ingots again but and also uses the, the sword of waven so that's pretty good so let's make that diamond sword no big deal make one of them let's get back again um has it gone to i can do it from here can't i waven core so we need another star and four draconic cores so let's make those i think we're going to make about six of these anyway because i think we need more than just four and we need some nether stars. And I don't think I've got enough nether stars. I've got three. And I reckon we're going to need four. So let's make the cores again. But that's not a big deal. We can make cores not a big deal. So actually that's just one we need for this one. Like that. What else do we need for this thing? A wave and energy core. So that's basically a box of redstone. A draconic core. So that's the that's the fifth, in fact. And redstone we can get no problem. We've got a crafting recipe for that, so let's make four of those. They should come in fairly quickly. Which they have. So now we've got the energy core. So we've got everything we need now to make the sword of Waven. Let's do it that again. And we have it. Let's have a look at this thing. Twenty percent. 20 attack damage, so that's a one, should be a one hit kill, and 10% mod, mob health. So it basically, Draconian begins to unlock the uh, sword's potential of the area of the strength improvements. So, your enemy strengths make this blade stronger. Okay, so the harder the enemy, the better it is. So, what else have we got in here? Use a mod if any, an upgrade modifier to boost these stacks. Now, do we, is there an upgrade modif modifier for this? I don't know. I'll tell you what we'll do. We don't need this anymore. Let's have a look. 
quantum I was looking at mixers I'll get rid of all of this here now what is there a draconic upgrade model ah there we go actually this isn't too bad we can make one of these and if I remember rightly we put this down but I don't know how to use it <laughs> I'm going to have to do some more research let's put it down here for a one and I think we put the sword in the middle of it like that okay good uh huh. So then we can use attack. That's capacity charge, yes. And that increases the value by one point for each one of these. What is that thing? Okay, there is another way to do it, which I'm going to do to start with. Let's go downstairs. No, nope, let's go upstairs and get some XP. What are we going to take? I think about 100 XP. No, I'm going to make 280, 190 XP. That should be enough to deal. Give a few enchants on this sword and take them off again. If I can find my intending table, of course. I should move some of these things around. Let's just chant, put it there. And yes, you can enchant it. So this one we've got. Actually, pretty good one. Something about that. Sharpness 5, looting 3, knockback 2, and. Reaper 5, I think that'll do. I was expecting to have to do this a lot more. And basically that's certainly max looting, max sharpness, max reaper in one go. Fantastic. What about that bridge? What about that for an enchant? I can't believe it. Let's go up again and let's put the um, sword. Now we need to put the sword away somewhere so we can actually charge it up. Let's charge it up in here. The 1 million RF is going to take a few seconds, but mm, it won't be too long. And I didn't look at the stats, so I should look at the stats. Um, I need to make some more. For the resurrection stone, let's go back to this one. That's build draconic. Resurrection stone. This needs the mob soul, so what I'm hoping to do is, oh, I'll have to put that somewhere probably sensible. I'm not sure what the best thing for mob souls is. Maybe it's, Re I was hoping it'd be Reaper. And what have we got here, Wave and Core. This is the one with the Ender Star. So to make that, we need some sort of Nether Star and a block of Draconium, that's no big deal. And these ones here, yeah. Fairly expensive, but not too bad. We make 16 of those things, I think. Only 16 diamonds and 64 gold, not a big deal. The, chron the chronic in uh, draconium ingots might be a bit of a problem, but I think at the moment it's pretty okay. Let's have a look at actually getting some of those, by the way. Let's have a look at that crystal crystallize. We have this option of going through this one. So $10 will give us one ingot. Well, I've probably got ten dollars because it opens up the next one, which is draconian blocks, and they're probably they're about ninety dollars, I guess. What have we got here? Ten dollar note. Okay, good. Let's put these up. But what I'm going to do is take two five dollars as well. It's pretty expensive in terms of money. Let's just, but let's finish that. Let's just do that quest for the sake of it. And now we can claim our one ingot done. But that, that should open up this quest here. So it's a hundred dollars and gives us two draconian blocks. Actually that's much better because that's 18 ingots. That's a lot better, a lot cheaper. All of me. Right, we won't do that yet. But we'll actually I'll have to make some more money while looks at it. Get my printing press going again. <laughs> right. <laughs> so let's put this ingot back into here. The other thing I wanted to do, well, actually, one of the other quests, the crystallized quest, let's do that anyway. Have I got enough space with me? I have, good. Actually, let's just sort my space out. Press R. At least I've got a few five spaces, seven spaces, that's fine. So let's do, the, let's do another quest done. There's another quest here, egg, this one here. 
and this is Martian, so it's $10, and it'll give us a dragon egg and some spawns, uh, some spawn eggs. So, and actually, that might be quite useful. So for $10, we need to do, let's just do that. So $10 is two $5 together, like that. Gives me a $10, so we can actually do straight away do that quest. Detect and claim. So that's actually some preparation ready for this thing here. So we've now got the dragon egg and four different spawn eggs. There should be, yep. Does that one go to up there? Okay. So spawn blizz, spawn blaze, spawn slime, spawn enderman, and the dragon egg, which is up here. Like that. Put that in there. The reason I got a piston in me because I wanted to make some more pistons. And I was hoping that they would, oops, craft. I think, I'll put the pistons, I think they're in here, aren't they? Yeah, that's good. So I can take a piston out of here and then put another one in and we get two. Just to basically build up the stock of pistons because I was always short of pistons and never had anywhere to craft them on. So it's not a bad idea to keep a few, a few in stock. So now we've got this an awesome weapon, which brings me to the next thing I want to show you. So I've got plenty of oxygen. Let me just get out of my magic bag here. The um, what do I want? The warp, the warp stone here. I might as well get the bow out for that matter and one arrow. I'll do the wrong word. Oh yeah, there's one arrow. What have I done with my sword? Oh, put it in the charger. So it now should be charged up, which it is. So as you saw that, then it's got 40, a 40 attack damage. So that's definitely a one hit killing machine, this thing is. What I'm thinking about doing in this is to probably set up in this mob, mob spawner here, uh, if I can, let's have a look if I can actually do it. Is the um, what's it called? I've forgotten the name. Let's have a look. I think it's a jack, isn't it? It's the Ender IO killing machine, and I've forgotten its name, which is really bad. Let's look. Where's it gone to? Here we go. Killer Joe. Oh, I nearly got it right. Ah, oh, there's no recipe for Killer Joe. Oh, shame. So we got no recipe for that. I was going to put the sword in there and we could, we could get some souls by killing the mobs in there. So that's never mind. What I can do, of course, is on this... Um, on my armor, I've got at the end of my armor that I've got here. I've actually got on this one here. I press shift. I've got the anvil upgrades sound locator, and you activate that by pressing L. So now the sound locator is active, and you can see every once in a while you get a little sound. I think down here. Yeah. See this? You can see where the mobs are by hearing them. If you see what I mean. Loads of them down there, look. So let's just dig our way down there. Put that out of the way there, put this one in. Let's set this to the next one. What size have I got it on at the moment? I want like to have it on 3x3, three three, I think. Yep. And then we can always right click this one like that, man, because you've got to, that wasn't a very sensible thing to do. There you can see a mob. Which one have we got? It's a little baby, it's an evolved zombie, it's a baby zombie. Let's press uh, L to turn it off again. Get the sword into hand, this one hit should do it. Yeah. What do we get out of that? Actually, I haven't cleared out my inventory before I came down here. That's not such a problem. Because I told you last time I'd built myself an ender pouch, didn't I? Let's just chuck that away. Let's go. Let's take this. I want the ender pouch out of this one. We'll put this back in here. We don't need this or this. 
of these machines and we'll put this one away and get the ender pouch out there and then of course for the ender pouch we can simply put it back stuff away that we don't want feathers I'll leave the torch there in fact I don't want the crafting units with me I do want the, those because otherwise I'll throw away these don't want those how much have we got space about eight slots now that's fine let's turn on the let's turn on the sound locator again there we go so there's loads of mobs down here so let's get this out again what number two don't I when I say number two you select the, the hot bar but it's the same as your um numbers on the keyboard by default walking through fairly fast aren't I oh, nothing there's some mobs down there let's go and see if we can find those guys of course I've got efficiency 5 on this thing it's really very effective let's try to see if I can find them When I'm in my test world, or well actually this is my test world as it happens, I was doing the same thing and I basically hit like this here. There's quite a large area underneath of um, bedrock and in the bedrock we've got loads of lo those little mini zombies. Let's just turn the sound locator off again and whack them on. like that turn it back on again and then we can find out where they are because they're obviously pretty hard to see look there's one over here oops that wasn't very really smart was it let's get this out again let's put this back in here i don't want the roast chicken either for that oh, the chicken it's not roast in that case yep here we go at least they come to me are these the baby zombies can't where are they all that's one or two what I'm hoping for is some mob souls getting plenty of end, uh, plenty of heads look so let's get that pouch out again another chicken another head some more rock another feather or two What I'm going to do now is to put some more stuff in this bag that I don't definitely don't need with me down here. I don't need the TNT. Actually, I thought I'd put the TNT away. Don't need that. I don't need any of these. Let's put them away, and I don't need that. I don't need the mint. Okay, good. But as you can see down here, there's a load of mobs. But they're all, but they're all baby zombies. one or two over there but I haven't got a mob soul yet must be one here somewhere which I can't see so let's see where is he sometimes he gets stuck in funniest oh yeah look, there's one over there And the funniest of places. So there's something over here. I guess. Oops. Hit me. So there's some more over here. Let's go and get these guys. I did the wrong way around. So I'll 
let's get stuck on there. See where they are. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I was a bit quiet. <laughs> I was trying to find the mobs. Well, that's, oh, look at that lot. They've all gone now. So. Baby zombies stuck in the bedrock him. Put some more light down in the place. Is there anything down here of any interest? Ah, oh, skeleton with it. Oop, and a creeper. Let's get rid of the creeper. Skeletons over there, that's no big deal. Let's just put down the torch down there. Let's get it out of here. Well, I got a heart. My bow. I can see it. Ha! Huh. Now we're playing jewels. Okay, got him. Second shot now. Something over here that's interesting. Probably oh, it's just one mint baby zombie. Let's just sort him out. It's a lot of noise, doesn't it? There's another huddle of uh, zombies. This is a bit weird. He's got his head on his head. Oh, he's probably got the. He's probably got. <laughs> A zombie head huh? in his hand. So as you can see, this this weapon is awesome. There's definitely no doubt about it. So we'll go back to base now. That's why I got the warp. I checked I got the warp stone, so we can just take the warp stone. But I still got no mob souls. So I don't know how many mobs I'm going to have to kill to get some mob souls. Maybe I have to upgrade it on the upgrade modifier. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure. But we need to make some more. Let's go and make some more um, uh, nether stars. Gosh. What have we got in here? I've oh, got some nickel. Uh, actually, one of these makes. That will be enough for two nether stars. Let's get these two made. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've turned this one off down here. We'll soon find out. Yeah, fantastic. The reason for that is, basically, if I do it that way, I don't get them fragmented. So we've got our 32 Copernicum in here. We're going to put that in this chest over here. And I really should also get that uh, other thing built which I still haven't done. I should have got enough uh, loads of other stuff. So what I'm going to do, let's get this ready. See, there must be mobs underneath there because I'm seeing the sound locator still on. <laughs> I should really turn it off again. So press L to turn it off. And it's one of these keys you might need to change yourself. Um, I want hydrogen and lots of it. How many stacks of hydrogen do we need? Eleven for one. That's twelve. Two stacks of carbon. So 
So let's go over here again and make sure that we've got these all put into here. Now at this stage, because I've, I've got the Kupernik and the rest of it, it really doesn't matter very much because it's all just mix matches of the same thing. Maybe I can do it with this one. No, I can't. Let's just... It's funny that... See with this one here, I hit the front of it and it moves it around. Whereas with the... Um, what if I put it... The Yetta wrench, it doesn't work that way. If you do the top here, it opens it up. And the side of... Oh, sorry, I haven't got the end... Whoops. This one here opens it up, you get the front. But if you turn the hit the top, it rotates it. So what did I want? Oh, nothing I wanted to left click this one, didn't I? To enable this one. Always active. So now we can put into here. Oh, whoops. I wanted stacks, not items. <laughs> I probably pressed the wrong one. Probably have to press shift on it to get the stacks. I think it's just a bit different than some ones. So try again. I won't use that as well. I think that'll do. Basically, you need 11 stacks of hydrogen per another star. Like that. In fact, let's do it like this. And I want one, two, three, four, five, six. And where's the carbon there? I've got two extra carbon and 22 extra. Well, doesn't matter very much. They can come through here and come into here like this. So we need four stacks of helium per another star. Yeah, that's right. So we need three. Oh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Two stacks of carbon and the rest is helium. I think that'll do. So in here's the recipe for that. So let's put in... And that should be enough for the first another star. Actually, I've got enough materials for three. Okay, move that one out of the way. So we need another three stacks of that, and that'll be enough for the second one. And we have a few bits and pieces left. We have got, this actually doesn't exist. What do we need? We've got three stacks of hydrogen here. So we need basically another three stacks of helium. So that's six stacks of that and one stack of carbon. Okay, good. Actually, I'll do the third one since it's there because it doesn't do any harm having a few extra of those around, does it? So let's just get rid of that and get rid of that. Good. So we need six stacks of this, didn't we? One stack of carbon. I've still got the one hydrogen. Let's put the hydrogen back again. Good. And I've ended up with a few extra. If I could take off six, maybe that ain't a bad idea. Hopefully we'll end up, that's not quite enough, there's another one coming, 58 plus 6, that's strange. What am I short of? 3, that's weird. Alright, just need 3 more, that's just the 3 we got in here. 
Oh, this is actually already in here, but in not split up correctly. Oh, I guess that's right. So we need three, don't we? That would be four. Hold on, twelve. Six. Don't know what I was thinking of. So is that right? Yes. So we've got four of those, one carbon, that's fine. We've got 11, we've got 16 hydrogen left over. And we just need out of here the cupinicum. I don't think I've actually pronounced that right. And there we've got that nice and clean and 16 hydrogen left over. Not a big deal, put the hydrogen in here and it'll get put into the right space. Let's go over here and get the rest of the stuff from the bag or the box. Like that. We need to go put some of this away as well, so that's I'll do that upstairs. So next episode I've got to do some more work on draconium evolution, so we don't need any of these. Right, another red heart. Twenty one feathers, we don't need any of these. Redstone Protection one helmet, which I don't need either, but I'm going to throw that away. I'll put it in there because it'll come out in the other. Actually, gets thrown away that way, doesn't it? So we can put the other nether stars we've got in here. So we've got five nether stars. So I think we've got enough now to do the rest of the st some of the rest of the components for this. Between now and the next episode, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to see if I can get the scrap automated because going to Venus to set up the quarries is, is actually a bit of a pain but it doesn't, it's not difficult it's just space and time but I have figured out how to use the glider properly with the with the boost or the jump boost anyway until next time I'm gonna say bye for now <laughs>